fear the world would not be the same. Some people laughed, some people cried, most people were silent. I remembered the line from the Indo scripture, the Bhagavadika. Vishnu tried to persuade the prince that he should do his duty, and to persuade him, he takes on his multi armed form and said, Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. I suppose we all felt that way, one way or another. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the final Supervillains Explored. And today, I will be talking about the partial Superman villain, Imperiex. Now, the reason why I say partial Superman villain is because I consider Imperiex more of a galactic threat for the DCU, more so than a Superman villain. Now... The character made his debut in Superman Volume 2, number 153, of February of 2000. He was created by Jeff Loeb and Ian Churchill, and he is the main villain of the Our Worlds at War crossover. He is the embodiment of Entropy, E-N-T-R-P-Y. He takes the form of pure energy contained in a humanoid suit of armor colossal that is colossal in size. He is first mentioned when Mongol Jr. arrives arrives on Earth stating that Imperiex has destroyed War World and is heading for Earth. He convinces Superman to help him fight him and the two manage to defeat him. However, they realize that the Imperiex they encountered was actually a drone or probe. Whereas Imperiex Prime, the leader, is much larger and much more powerful. And his whole spiel of why he's doing this is that he has detected imperfections in the fabric of the universe and plans to destroy it and create a new perfect one. So he heads to Earth, which is pretty much the center of the which was pretty much the center of the crisis on infinite Earths, in order to induce a new Big Bang. When he arrive on his way to arriving to Earth, he obliterates countless other planets and galaxies. One of the planets that he destroys is Almerac, A L M E R A C, which is the home of Maxima. Not only does he destroy the planet, but he hollows out the entire galaxy. After this, the the survivors of all the dead planets, Earth, Apocalypse, and Brainiac 13's new War World form a coalition with Darkseid as its commander. And when he finally makes it to the Milky Way, he sends various probes to Earth. And he destroys Topeka, Kansas, as well as seven other places on Earth and the city of Atlantis, where they prepare Earth for his final destruction. And at this point, Lex Luthor, who is the president, rallies all the superheroes, military, and other countries of the world, and they decide that Superman is just not strong enough, so they release Doomsday out of captivity, have Manchester Black reprogram him, and pretty much Doomsday is both outmatched and vaporized by Imperiex Prime, with only his skeleton remaining. And Darkseid manages to save Superman from a similar fate, and it took the sacrifice of the Strange Visitor and General Rock to be able to crack Imperiex's armor. And using many other various armors and faith and magical powers and what have you, you know, they all seem to defeat Imperiex till Brainiac 13 appears with Warworld, absorbs all of Imperiex's energies, and vows to basically assimilate everything. Superman pretty much has Martian Manhunter form a telepathic link and tell everybody a last minute plan to which pretty much they open up a temporal boom tube to the beginning of the big bang of the big bang itself thus sending thus sending Brainiac 13 Imperiex Prime and Warworld to the site of the birth of the universe 
thus, thus pretty much causing no harm to the temporal timeline and pretty much getting rid of the galactic threat. And at least, uh, and in the in the final moments before the Big Bang happens, Imperiex realizes that the imperfection realizes that the imperfection that was actually that he actually was detecting was himself, which is a bit ironic. At least eight million people died on Earth during this war. However, the number is said to be countless. However, several people were considered dead and then pretty much came back for various reasons, including Aquaman, Doomsday, Guy Garner, Maxima, Queen Hippolyta, General Sam Lane, and Steel were among those considered dead. So yeah, a lot of people died and then they were brought back for various reasons. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is Imperiex. I hope you guys have enjoyed my Super Villains Explored, at least round two. Hope you've also enjoyed Ian's round two bits for lesser known. And you know that's it, guys. Hope you hope you enjoyed both of our segments, and we look forward to doing it again.